Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is from the topic of permutations and combinations. And in this question, we have been told that there are 10 points in a plane. And out of this 10 points, four points are on a straight line. So basically those four points are linear. And apart from this four points, the remaining six points are non-collinear. So basically non-collinear means no two of them can lie on the straight line. And further, they have told us how many triangles I can form with this. 10 points, right? So let's understand how to solve this question. So first of all, if you understand to form a triangle, we need to select how many points, first of all. So we need to select three points always to form a triangle, right? So three points needs to be selected. And when I talk about selection, we already know that we will use here combinations, right? So we'll use the idea of combination. So first of all, if I write the formula down here, NCR, that gives us N factorial upon R factorial into N minus R factorial, where N is the total number of options I have. R is the required number of options that needs to be selected. Right? So that's the whole idea. N factorial upon R factorial into N minus R factorial. Now, let's understand the solution for this question. So I have been told that out of 10 points, four points are on a straight line. So let's take those four points. Let's say one, two, three, and four. And the remaining six points are anywhere in the plane. And they do not lie on a straight line. So if I draw, let's say, this six points. Now, there can be many cases where I can form a triangle. Let's understand all of these cases. So first of all, I'll form a table so it becomes convenient for us to understand. So number of points of selection from the collinear points that we are selecting. And then we'll select the number of non-collinear points here so that we form a triangle. Right. So third table, I'll write down how many number of triangles I can form. So number of collinear points. Case one, if I select zero collinear point, I have to select the three non-collinear points. Now that can be done in how many ways? Let's see how many triangles I can form with this. So out of four collinear points, we are selecting none of them. So for C0, because I'm using combination for selection and, and we use as a multiplication sign from the non-collinear points that are six, we will select any three of them. So if I select, let's say this three, I can form a triangle with this, right? Because all of the six are non-collinear points. So I can form triangles as six C3. Second case. So let's first understand all the cases and then we'll solve this further to understand how many triangles I can form there. Second case, I can select as one collinear point. Let's say if I select one collinear point, let's say this. So if I select one collinear point, I will have to select any two non-collinear points. So I can form a triangle with this also, like this, right? So that's the idea. So I will select here two non-collinear points. So again, number of triangles, again, if I use combination, I can select out of four collinear points, one collinear point, and from the remaining six non-collinear points, I'm selecting two of them. Further, if I select, let's say, if I select the third case can be, if I select two collinear points, now, if I select, let's say, this and this collinear point, I will have to select one non-collinear point also. So then I can also form a triangle, for example, like this. 
so two collinear points and one non collinear point also forms a triangle right so that's the idea for this so now i can do that selections in how many ways let's see how many triangles i can form so out of four collinear points i'm selecting two of them out of six non collinear points i'll select only one there right because i need only three points for forming a triangle and the fourth case i can do here is three collinear points and then zero non collinear points but if you understand let's say if i select these three collinear points so when these three collinear points lie on a straight line do we get a triangle here you will not get a triangle because all of these points are on a straight line so you will always get a straight line here not a triangle so you cannot form a triangle with this gradient right so we had a straight line here so whenever you select three collinear points you cannot form a triangle with this so number of triangles in this case becomes z so let's solve all of these ideas and then if we add that we get the total number of triangles formed so first we have as 4c0 and 6c3 so 4c0 into 6c3 4c0 we already know it is 1 because nc0 is always 1 and ncn is also 1 right, so i am using that idea here 6c3 i can write as 6 factorial upon 3 factorial into 6 minus 3 is 3 factorial so you get 1 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 factorial here you have 3 2 1 and 3 factorial this gets cancelled 3 into 2 is 6 which cancels with 6 so 1 into 20 you get 20 triangles in the first case so if i write that down first case gives me 20 triangles or so or whenever i am using i am adding that so plus let's see how many triangles i get in the second case it tells us 4c1 into 6c2 now we already know again nc1 is equal to nc n minus 1 that is equal to always n so 4c1 comes out 4 6c2 i can write this as 6 factorial upon 2 factorial into 6 minus 2 that is 4 so 4 into here i can write as 6 into 5 into 4 factorial 2 factorial is 2 into 1 into this again gets ruled out 1 2 3 so 15 into 4 that is 60 so in the second case i am able to form 60 triangles here let's see how many triangles i can form in the last case where I have 4C2 here and 6C1. So 4C2 again, 4 factorial, 2 factorial, 2 factorial. 6C1 is 6. So 4 into 3 into 2 factorial, 4 into 1 into 2 6. So 2 factorial again gets cancelled to 1, 2, 2. 2 into 3, 6. 6 into 6, that is 36. So in the third case, I can form 36 triangles. So plus 36. So now if I add all of them, I get the total number of triangles that I can form. That is 20 plus 60, that is 80. And 80 plus 36, that is 160. So in total, I can form 116 triangles with these conditions where four points are collinear and six points are non-collinear in the entire plane. So I can form 116 triangles with that conditions which are given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve these types of questions where number of points are given in the plane. Some of them are collinear, the others are non-collinear. And they'll ask you how many number of triangles or they can ask you how many number of quadrilaterals, how many straight lines you can form. In this question, we have solved how many number of triangles I can form. So 116 triangles I can form. And if you see the option that matches here in the question is B. So B is the correct answer for the question. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, share these videos with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of IIT JW. Thank you.